In ancient times, the lands of China were ruled by clans. We can think of these clans as feudal dynasties or chiefdoms. The most powerful of these clans was considered to be the Emperor of China. And the Emperor could impose sanctions on other clans. At the beginning of the 11th century BC, the most powerful dynasty of China was the Shang family. The next most powerful dynasty was the Zhou dynasty, and the Zhou dynasty was planning a rebellion. In this video we will tell you the battle that took place with this rebellion. The Shang family, which ruled the Chinese lands for 500 years, had a dark history. It was a feared family. It is written in their Ian annals that they are cruel, merciless, and treacherous. Many sacrificed human and ritual sites were found in the remains of the Shang family at the archaeological excavation site, which we call the Yin Ruins. The Zhou family, on the other hand, was the most powerful clan after the Shang. They were loved by the people of the region they ruled. We know from the scrolls of that period that they improved agriculture in their own lands. The Zhou family believed in what they called the Mandate of Heaven. This belief meant that if a child virtuous enough to rule China was born, heaven would entitle that child and the child would be invincible. Thus, he would certainly become the emperor of China. At the beginning of the 11th century, when there was poverty and injustice in the land of China, the Zhou family announced that they had started a rebellion movement relying on their faith. Master Wu, the leader of the Zhou family, had an army of 35,000 and was planning to advance towards the Shang capital, Yin. The leader of the Shang family was Emperor Dxian and they had an army of 50,000 men. He would fight to suppress the rebellion. But he did not want his authority to be eroded after the war. He was the emperor and he wanted to stay that way after the war. For this, he gave weapons to many villagers on his land who could hold a sword and added them to his army. The emperor did not lead his army, he appointed his commanders. In 1046 BC, the two armies came face to face in the area called Mai. The emperor's army was strong, with 50,000 army personnel and 10,000 villager, 60,000 people in total. The Zhou army, on the other hand, was only 35,000 men, but they had their leader before them and they were confident in themselves. They attacked. An unexpected event occurred while two armies were fighting. The villagers switched sides, betrayed the empire. Because this was an opportunity to escape the ruthless rule of the Shang family, and who the emperor was did not matter to them. The order of the imperial army was suddenly disrupted. They didn't know what to do, the enemies were everywhere. The war had turned in favor of the Zhou dynasty. There was a bloody war, many people lost their lives. At the end of the war, the victory belonged to the Zhou family. When Emperor Dxian learned of his defeat, he burned himself with his palace. All members of the Shang family were either killed or committed suicide. The supply stores of the Shang family and army were presented to the public, thus the empire passed to the Zhou family. Faith in the Mandate of Heaven was embraced by all Chinese people after these events. The Zhou family became China's most powerful and longest reigning family. See you in the next videos.